Okay. Reaction time or whatever. So I have one quick question for you. Mm -hmm. So if you turn to the data sheet, somebody, uh, whoever's got it open. Zach, Rachel, mm -hmm. anybody? Got it. Okay. So you notice it has a slot for uh, one that might suggest that it's unique for each of these. Mm -hmm. So how would you? Yeah. How might you use what you've got to, to get a unique value for each different mass? The feedback that I give them, uh, it's just sort of, it's a combination. Some of the stuff I've just seen them make certain mistakes. I'm expecting certain things, and that just comes with time. And then the other thing is you can see if someone's thinking along the right track. So before that, uh, they were doing statistics a long time ago, and then they sort of stopped in the middle of the semester to do some other things, and then we go back there. And so I know that they know a lot of this stuff. They've just put it way on, you know, on the back shelf and have sort of forgotten it. So I know they can get to it. Um, and I don't know, I mostly just do it by instinct. I see what they're saying, um, and then I try to, try to get them to all work together. That was the average difference, okay. and we would divide that by two. Okay, so I like the way I like the way you're going with this. My only question is, uh, can you think of a way? So you notice on the data sheet, it has an individual slot for each uncertainty as it relates to the different masses. Does that mean that we have to Sometimes there's a guy sitting at the table, like the very shy, quiet guy. Uh, which I think happened in this class this time, who knows the answer or knows the right path and he's just not going to say anything because either he's just shy enough or he doesn't, he's not confident. And so sometimes I try to like, if I can get something out of that guy, I point them, you know, point the other students like, why don't you ask him? And then I leave so that he's not on the spot in front of me. And what do you think, Rachel? I don't like that idea. You yes, don't? You do. No. Why not? Because I feel like. That's too much work. Well, I just think that wouldn't. Yeah, that'd be like a waste of time because it, yeah. it's going to be the. I mean, like, is there your more direct time way? isn't really. Yeah, I feel like there's a more direct way. That's what I'm trying to say. There's a more direct way? Maybe. I don't know. So, so how. Well, it's maybe going to be different for each one. Then. Hmm. Would that give you a different answer for each one? If you. For each trial. I guess I don't understand what you're saying. Like, we would run the trial. I'm not saying it. She oh, is. Oh, well, you were saying. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, sorry. <laughs> but a lot of it's just. Sort of instinct and, and trying to guide them. And then after I give them sort of a hint, I leave so that they can work something out on their own. There's something you can do that's even closer related to the experiment. Just, and it's right. You're right there. Not yet. You're right there. So, so I'll come. So basically, we need to find a way to relate the mass to the. Yeah, to the and and don't go far from what you got. If you make them tell you the answer, uh, then it then it'll sometimes stick. <laughs>